owners, we all want to know, when is this coming to an end? <laughs> <laughs> Make the most of tomorrow. Okay. Uh, there's more rain coming Tuesday and Wednesday. We kind of have to block both of those days out for rain. Okay. And I think maybe even more importantly now, wind. And I'm going to show you why. There's just one more of these coming. So by just Thursday, one. just one more. Well, yeah, there okay. is. Just what, by Thursday, we're going to be in the clear for a little bit. There will be more after that, but at least in the next seven days, it's the Tuesday Wednesday storm that I want to really focus on. But we're not done with the Sunday storm yet. It's still misting out there. If you look at the Sierra, this thing is still dropping pretty steady snow over there. But here at home, things have quieted down. It's just going to mist. It won't add up to much, but it's going to keep things kind of damp at most until we get to the overnight hours when this finally clears out. Let's, we'll go to the wide picture and I'll show you how one storm finally ends and then makes room for the next one. So it's going to keep snowing in the Sierra tonight. Sierra is so good at pulling everything out of these mountains. But by tomorrow, that stops. And then look, there's your Monday. You will see blue sky tomorrow. You won't get rained on. It's going to be great. And then on Tuesday, the next one comes in. So in terms of the rain, Tuesday morning is when it's at its most widespread and steady. But we really need to think about all day Tuesday and about the first half of Wednesday as being under the influence of this system. Watch the spin right off the coast. That's the center of the system. So it's just we're not going to try and time out exactly when or where other than to come away with the general idea. Tuesday morning, it's widespread steady rain. And then from Wednesday, uh, from Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday afternoon, it's on again, off again showers while we wait for that thing to kind of spin its way out of here. But if you look at the wind, it gets a little more interesting. If, and normally the way we look at the wind is we just look at the wind over land to speed when the wind's going to get strongest here. And sure enough, there's Tuesday at noon. But we need to look at this one differently. So we're going to play this one back and watch the whole picture. And you're going to see the pattern in the wind speeds off the coast. That's important to look at. Look at that area of low pressure goes right off the coast. In fact, if we bring that back Tuesday at noon, the center of this thing is right off the coast. That's pretty much exactly where it was when we had that system come through just about a week ago that blew all the trees down. This one's not that strong, but it is in the same spot. And I know that looks like a hurricane. It's nowhere near the intensity of a hurricane. We're just trying to pull out the visualization here on the winds. Those gusts are only up around 45 to 50. You know, that's like as it, it just peaks there. Sustained winds are like 30 to 40. So, I mean, hurricane sustained winds are like 74. They're tropical. That's not it. But it does make it windy. And remember, it was noon when that thing was sitting right off the coast. Noon on Tuesday. Watch what happens to the wind as we go through Tuesday. By 10 o'clock, it's picked up. By noon, it peaks. And now we're looking at 40 mile an hour gusts. Now that is strong enough that we need to start thinking about the possibility for more down trees. Not as widespread or as numerous as it was from the last storm. That one had gusts occasionally peaking around 70. This one will be at 40. Look at the wind streams. You can see how everything's rushing over us to then spin back around in the center of that low. We're just kind of getting stuck in the middle. It'll get better quickly by the time we get to Tuesday night. So that's maybe the main impact. There is a decent amount of rain with this too from Tuesday through Wednesday, but it's spread out over a long enough period of time. It doesn't look like a flood concern here. So there are no flood watches or wind advisories. None that the National Weather Service has issued for us yet. They're doing that in Southern California for this one. It's going to be a lot heavier rain. This, is, this storm's really focused down there. If you look at the difference in rainfall, so it's going to be heavier. And of course, the snow, it's going to be focused on the Southern Sierra again. But we're going to get our snow here as well. And if we look at how this plays out, from now through Tuesday, snow level stays around 5,000 feet. And then from Tuesday into Wednesday, when we feel the influence of that next storm, snow level lowers, gets down to around 4,000 feet. And by the time it's done, we've got another two, two and a half feet of snow up at Donner Pass, that's not bad. That, that would have seemed like a really big deal. Any of the last three winters, this win winter, we're not even blinking an eye on it, but that would have been one of the most significant storms of like the whole winter in any one of the last three years, but those were exceptionally dry. Okay, there's a seven day forecast. By Thursday, we're done. And there doesn't appear to be a system coming our way at least through the weekend, but there's likely gonna be more after that. We'll deal with those later. For now,